Tom, what's going on? He's doing a radio show here, Dan. That's a great show, man. I love it. Sometimes you just piss me off that I just want to turn you off and I just... But you can't! What's the first thing you think of when you see a hot chick? Banging her. You have a vagina problem. Yeah, I don't get enough of them and too many don't have a mouth. Would you like to see your son in action? It would be interesting, I think, but it wouldn't blow my skirt up, Tom. You wear a skirt, do you, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> the figure is feet. <laughs> I hope you won't hang up on me because I got a mouth for you. I might. That's what you usually do to people that really speak their minds out and let you. No, know. I love people to speak their mind. Uh, people who are idiots. That's why I get upset. At I had this guy on my high school wrestling team. You wouldn't believe it. He had lobster claws for both hands. Oh, lobster claws. And he kept wanting to, to, to dip them into drawn butter, right? Oh, man, it was awful. I bet he gets near a hot tub. He gets nervous. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> they put a rubber band over those things. That's right. Put a rubber band on those hands. That's right. We're not here to fix America. That's not my job. Baptizing your listeners with wrong... I'm an atheist. I'm not baptizing anything. The stations that succeed put hot chicks up. It's that simple. Who cares about the news? You want the news? Go to the Internet. Read the paper. It, it gets boring after a while, though, doesn't it? Looking at hot chicks? Well, there's tons right, What are you, a homo? Yeah, yeah. When, when does it get boring looking at hot chicks? Are you gay? What if one day one of these girls is so hot and attractive mm. and you say, do me, baby, and she bites your d- off? Uh, first of all, we can't put that word on the air. All right, how about No, not even that. Oh, God. You're not, not in that context. No, haven't you read the papers lately, darling? I listen to KF. Well, we don't, we're not putting that on the air either. We don't put any obscenity on the air. Wasn't Air America the uh, code name the CIA used in Vietnam when they were running guns and drugs covertly to help fund their part of the war? Well, yes. Why would liberals support a liberal radio network named that? That's like having a Jewish radio network named Hitler's Happy Hour. I'm dating a guy. He's actually been in NBA. Has he ever been to Eagle, Colorado? I don't know. <laughs> Just check it. But I told him that Is I was Is his uniform in... number between 7 and 9? Oh, you are trying to get me to say somebody who is not. <laughs> and I can definitely say not Toby. <laughs> As I always say, I compare women to uh, bathrooms, okay? Because women are human toilets after all. Don't call me a toilet, Tom. I'm not a toilet. Sperm receptacle? No. Take one. No. Why are there so many strip clubs in Portland? Everybody we talk to, everybody wants to take us to a strip club. I honestly think the answer can only be because we need a suitable alternative to the women walking the streets. <laughs> I knew that was going to be the answer. Well, you can only see so many uh, short cropped bangs and black horn rimmed glasses in a day before you got to look at something different. <laughs> From Portland, it's Flash Friday. Gentlemen, start your engines. Here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is... Not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Hello! Hartman! Wow! Thank you guys for coming to see us. Oh, look at this crowd. It's a good-looking crowd. We never say that. It's a good-looking crowd. Look at you guys. You think I'm blowing smoke up your ass. This is one of the better-looking crowds I've seen in a long time. Very nice. Very nice. I am here today at Barracuda, and uh, by the way, you are invited uh, to come down and join us. If you're female, 
You don't need a ticket. You come in. Guys, of course, need tickets. How many of you girls got in without a ticket today? You had a ticket. Okay, you got a few back there. Good. But uh, you have what now? Oh, you got a wristband and everything. Look at you. Very nice. All right, but anyway, here we are together again on the radio. It's our first time in Portland in four and a half years. And um, we have always had a good time. We've come to Portland, always. And uh, last night was no exception. We were out last night, baby. We went out. We took some of those suggestions you phoned in, and we went out last night. You may have seen us out carousing, boozing, whatever it was we were doing last night. Very bad. It was very bad. And we found, uh, we found, uh, you wouldn't believe it, hot chicks. It was unbelievable what we found out there last night. Amazing. But uh, anyway, uh, we have also with us here at Barracuda the Star Girls. Give the Star Girls a hand. Thank you, girls. The Star Girls, everybody. There they are. And uh, here we are, of course, with Flash Friday. It's Flash Friday, you know. I'm, lest I forget to mention that. And you know what Flash Friday is all about. You boys know what Flash Friday is all about, right? On Flash Friday, in case you are new to our program, uh, all the men turn their headlights on to show their solidarity, their loyalty to the Tom Likas show. And, of course, when the ladies see a guy with the headlights on, what do you do? You show them your rack. That's what you do. You show them your breasts. You press them up against the glass. You thrust them out the sunroof. You hang them out the window. You show them. Show these guys your loyalty to the Tom Likas show, for God's sake. Love it. Anyway, uh, here we are. And, of course, it's uh, wide open telephones on the Tom Likas show on Friday. Uh, a couple of provisos for wide open telephones I'm going to mention. All right. Save the 101 calls for Likas 101. Dean is, like, uh, just infested with calls for advice. We do that on Thursdays. Today, it's anything but like it's 101 advice. And also, the other call we're not going to take, people are calling in saying, I haven't been flashed. I've had my headlights on for ten whole minutes, and I haven't been flashed. Keep your pants on, Poindexter. Just leave the lights on. Eventually, you'll get lucky, for Christ's sake. Okay, please? It's that simple. Look at this crowd. You, uh, you know, I can't believe it. Two floors full of people here. It's packed anyway. So if you want to get on the air and talk with us uh, in any of those other areas, it could be anything we discussed on the air this week, anything you think we should have discussed on the air, you can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game as long as you're absolutely fascinating. If you're not Dean J. D'Amelio, who is at his usual uh, screener position in Los Angeles, will kick your sorry butt off the phone before you even get to me. The only people I will talk to who have um, maybe a deficiency of IQ points are people I can slice and dice, people I can have fun with, and I can make fun of in front of 1,200 people or whatever it is here. So um, if you think you can hold a nation spellbound, all you have to do is call our toll-free telephone number. It's one 800 5800 talk 1-800-5800-866. Thank you. All right, let's go to the phones here because I think we have a Flash Friday incident uh, developing here. Paul. How you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay, Paul. What's going on? I'm driving by USC. I got my headlights on. The only dumb guy with headlights on in all of L.A. And then this girl pulls up next to me, and she sees my headlights. And it's right when you're explaining how to appropriately address Flash Friday. Yes. She points down at her radio, and I say, like it. And she just slips me a little one, a one boob. She gives me a little flash of the boob. Yeah. And it's nice. Now, uh, now, let me ask you a question. If you were a Ryan Seacrest listener, would you get that kind of benefit for tuning in? Uh, probably not, Tom. No. Only the king, baby. Yeah, yeah. You might, all right, you, Tom. you might get somebody unzipping their fly, but that's about all. <laughs> all right. Hey, take me out with a bong whip and a cold one. All right. Here you go, Paul. Very nice. 
Look at that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Uh, by the way, who's boozing today? Hold up the booze. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> I have not seen that many Miller Lite bottles in one place in my life. Look at that. I drink through that. Unbelievable. All right, you boozers. It's Robert on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hello, Tom in Portland. What's going on? How much? I got a big crowd of reprobates here. They're all boozing. Oh, oh. hell yeah. Hey, I got my first flash in 2004, baby. Yeah. Yeah. How did that happen? Oh, dude, it's so sweet. I drive a big rig up here in the Tacoma area, and I've got... I got Tom Lyka signs plastered all over my truck. That's perfect. Oh, it works perfect, too. And I just happen to look down on this blonde, beautiful, I mean, dark tan. They had to have been 38 Ds. I mean, just really? delicious knockers. Really? She's driving a, oh, yeah, she's driving a vent. I happen to look down. She looks at me. All of a sudden, she pulls her top down. I give her, you know, I give her the two of the, of the big, uh, my big blow heart, you know. Next thing I know, she pulls up her skirt. She ain't got no panties. <laughs> really? And she is as, she is as bald as the day she was born. Really? Like, that is hard. Jack and I in the middle of the highway. Hardwood floors, huh, baby? Oh, baby, that, that was so sweet, man. I'll tell you, <laughs> hey, all, all you guys listening, the Tom Lyka signs work. I cannot express this enough time. They work, they work, they work. And for all the plain actors who whine and bitch and cry about not getting flashed, put a Lyka sign on your car, and I guarantee it will increase tenfold. I love that, Robert. Thank you so much. Hey, Tom, take me out with a great big bong hit in African tribal style. All right, Robert, here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Hey, boy, people are getting flashed like crazy out there on this Flash Friday. Brian, hello. Hey, Tom, how's the party? How's the party, boys? That's for my boys. I had their all here. That we had a little convention here. It's all the sons I never had. There they are. Awesome. I'm on, uh, I'm on Newport Boulevard in uh, Costa Mesa, heading for the uh, 55 North. Yes. I got a uh, sunroof open. I got you blasting. These girls in front of me can hear the show, and they're like stand, sitting up in a spider and they're playing with each other and showing a little boobage and everything. Really? Yeah. I love, I love this. Three blondes, about uh, 20 years old each. Oh, my God. I have to ask for IDs, Tom. That's how young they are. How, how, yeah. how, how young do you think they are? They're, you think they're under 18? I don't know. They, they could be uh, underage for all we know, Tom. You never know. Well, I'm sure if they were underage, you weren't looking. Awesome. Uh, take me out old school, buddy. Here you go, Brian. Some like us. One eight hundred five eight hundred times. Some like us. Oh God! All flash just for you, okay, Tom? Thank you for that, Annie. I appreciate okay, that. Thank you for that. I appreciate All it. All right, I'm waiting for you. I'm gonna. You're gonna do it while we're on the phone. Here comes. They're like staying back behind. Well, why don't you uh, get your boyfriend to slow down a little bit? Okay, honey, you need to slow down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, here I go. All right. Woo! Okay. I just did it. All right. Well, he's smiling. I hope he was listening. Otherwise, he just thinks I'm crazy. It's Flash Friday on the Tom Likey Show. Tom Likey Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. We're in Portland, Oregon at Barracuda. We have a great booze and crowd here. We love it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Craig on the Tom Likas Show on Flash Friday. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Dad. Uh, hello, son. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I haven't, Dad, talk I haven't, I haven't talked to your mom recently, uh, that bitch, but uh, what are you going to do, huh? Yeah. 
I want to comment on the uh, Flash Friday. Yes. In a matter of 30 seconds, the entire uh, the five. I'm on the five downtown LA. Yeah. yeah. Every single light is on. All the headlights are on. It was. A, it's like a funeral. Did you see them go on? I did. It was a so, matter of so like you heard fireworks. you heard me go on the air at the beginning of the show today and say turn on your headlights on the on I five and you saw all the lights go off. Uh, they just started going off, one after another after uh. another. Truckers. <laughs> we love that. Oh man, it was. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> now you see where all the listeners are. They're all out there. Uh, they are all on the five, I'll tell you that. You know, when we started doing Flash Friday, the purpose of putting your lights on, we didn't even come up with the breast thing until later. That was a call that came up with it. Hey, hey, the, we, the idea was so you could see who the other listeners are. You look around, you see all the headlights on, there are the listeners. You got a huge fan, fan going. Well, thank you for reporting on that, Craig. I appreciate it. All right, Tom. All right. Take me out, Craig. Kobe style? I'll take you out, Kobe style. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Flash Friday from Portland, Oregon. It's Barbie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. All right. And I'm on the 101 Van Nuys Boulevard and uh, eastbound. Okay, and Van Nuys Boulevard. Everybody, I've been flashing everybody. So you've been going eastbound. So you're heading downtown or something? Where are you going? Yeah, yeah, I'm heading downtown. You're he um, downtown back to the LA. office. Okay, and so you're heading to downtown LA. You're going back yes. to the office. And uh, what do you do for a living, Barbie? I'm a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> My full name is Barbie Buck. <laughs> Barbie, and Barbie then, uh, Bunt. Later on. <laughs> so there you go. You can you can catch me on the internet. Well, no, all we have to do is pass you on the 101, and we can see you right now. Oh yeah, yeah, you can see me right now. Barbie Bunt. I'm, I'm in a Ford, and it's white. Big car. And I'm a, in a Ford Escape. And are, it's white. Are you seeing? Are you seeing headlights on the 101 today, Barbie? Yeah, I'm seeing hundreds of headlights. Everybody's got their headlights on. Even women have their headlights on. Oh, you know, even women it, like to see a nice crazy. rack. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like to see a nice rack. <laughs> bet you do. Very nice. I'll oh, bet yeah. you do. Barbie oh, Butt. Yeah. Barbie Butt checking in from the Hollywood Freeway. All right, I'm just gone. Uh, well, what are we going to do? I'm just going to put my window down there. That's so good. guys can see me better. I, are, are you ready to flash somebody right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get ready to flash somebody. I, he, guy's uh, honking at you. Yeah, the guy's honking at me. Give him oh, what he came him. for. Give it to him. <laughs> Barbie Butt. Hi, Barbie. Bobby All right, we got. Hiya. All right, Barbie. Uh, thank you very much, Barbie. But there she goes, hanging her knockers out on the 101 freeway out in Van Nuys. For God's sake, it's Flash Friday. We're in Portland, Oregon, baby. It's 1-800-5800. Oh. The Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show from Portland, Oregon. At one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom, what's going on up there? You causing trouble up there? I hope so. No, the boys uh, have somebody uh, uh, staked out there that they'd like to uh, show her um, um, attributes. The pressure is building. She's showing them, baby. There they are. What a nice set of attributes, too. Wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well. Yeah, well, I'd like to see yours, too. Sure. Oh, you all. Uh, tension whore. Tension whore. Look at this. <laughs> Another one. All right. That's very nice. It's always good to throw out the first set of breasts. Kind of like opening day. All right. 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. It's uh, wide open telephones on this Flash Friday. We're at Barracuda in downtown Portland. And uh, like we say, uh, guys had to win tickets to this thing, but chicks can get in without a ticket if you show up. So, ladies, show up. You know where we are. Okay. This is Joe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, 
Tom. Hello, Joe. Tom, I got the million dollar question for you, baby. All right. How does Portland feel about getting Kate favored the other day by Kobe? <laughs> Woo, twice, baby. <laughs> got it from the back. <laughs> Where you at with that beat LA, Portland? Oh, nice today, this. baby. Listen to this. <laughs> Guy's upset. This guy's Tommy. upset. Ah, oh, the Blazer fans are all uh, they're all upset at you now. Ah, hey, Tom. They got Kate. <laughs> they got Kate favored. <laughs> like that one, huh? I did. I like that a lot. <laughs> hey, Tom, do me a favor. Yes, Joe. I want smoke coming from both sides. I want a big, long bung rip and a nasty fart. Let's see what we got here for you, Joe. Five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's wide open telephones. It's Jim on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. This is a pleasure. I know. Hey, uh, if being a single mom is such a great achievement, then why are they exactly that? A single mom? Oh, exactly. <laughs> they got some, because some guy booted her through the uprights. That's what happened. Should have done more than that. Hey, Tom. In the Southern California area, a yeah. multi-billion dollar industry is the adult entertainment industry. It's all over the news about this HIV thing, and they're shutting down for two months. Here's my question. With all the beautiful women that are in these industries, and along with making billions of dollars, couldn't they come up with some kind of a talent pool amongst the companies to get some guy besides someone just coming out of jail or somebody who's stacking soda pop on a, a dock warehouse somewhere? Well, I wouldn't exactly call the porn industry one of the best-run industries in the world, would you? Well, ten billion dollars a year, and some of the beautiful featurettes, uh, like your Tara Patrick, that's been affiliated with your show. Oh, there's something going on there. Oh, and there's no doubt. There's a lot of talent, but uh, many times uh, I think that uh, let's face it, we we're shutting down this industry for two weeks. What is that going to do? I mean, uh, what? Then people are going to uh, what? Not be HIV positive in two weeks? Uh, Here's the bottom line, Tom. Once you walk off that set. Who knows who you're with or what you've done. You could be the, the worst person in the world doing the craziest things. There's no such thing as safe. That's all BS. Well, clearly they haven't been testing people like they always say in the porn industry. They haven't been, clearly. And, Tom, by the way, if you ever become single again, and I hope you don't because I heard you have a great woman, and for the guys out there, if you have your next first date and she's a hot girl, tell her it's okay to spank on the first date. All right, very good. Tom, Thank could you. you take me out with a Latino shut-up? Oh, of course I will. Here you go, Jim. Latinos, you shut up! 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Michael on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Father. How are you? I'm okay, son. How are you? I'm fine, Dad. I'm fine. Hey, um, man, Portland is rocking right about now. Oh, you should be here, man. This is incredible. Portland is rocking. Oh, yeah. Hey, I have a question on the hockey note. Yes. Um, a couple of years ago when the Mighty Ducks first started... Yes. I uh, read in the paper that they had to pay the Kings 50 some thousand dollars. I'm trying to find out why. Nobody can answer this question. No, it wasn't 50,000. It was 20 50 million. 25 million or 50 million, yes. Well, what was the deal with that? Well, uh, the, uh, this a uh, sports question. In LA, we've got two hockey teams. We got the uh, LA Kings and the uh, Anaheim Mighty Ducks. And uh, the Kings owned the franchise for Southern California. And uh, in order at the time, the owner of the Kings, Bruce McNall, was broke. And he needed money, and so he uh, encouraged a second team to be created, and then they would pay him what's called an indemnity fee so he could take over part of his franchise. That's what happened. Cool, cool. All right, Portland, you guys uh, rock on. Uh, Tom, it's going to be so kind as to take me out to uh, Halle Berry style. Halle Berry style. Here you go, Michael. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom Mike in Portland. You're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's going on, Mike? Uh, Tom, you, Tom, you got a great crowd there today, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, you know, let's talk about the important thing: the fact that the Mariners are no longer preempting your show. I know. Finally. You know, we a have radio a radio station. 
We have not. The radio station that knows what they're talking about. I want to. I want to tell you. Uh, you know, as you know, it's been four and a half years since we've been to Portland. And That's four and a half years too long. Yeah. Well, the last two years, the reason we have not been in Portland, it isn't that we were not invited. The reason we haven't been in Portland is the radio station and its previous owners and management. Uh, we're trying to tell us that the Mariners preempting our show 50 times a year is going to be good for the show. Right. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of people in Portland who are not Mariners fans. In fact, people who are baseball fans, people who are A's fans, Giants fans. I mean, there's a lot of other fans. Of a, now, Portland doesn't have a team. They're not loyal to any one team. And Portland's loyal to its own team. That's Blazers. it. Well, that's a whole other story. But the fact is yeah. that um, the radio station wanted us to keep coming up here, even though our show was being preempted, and essentially was being ruined in Portland uh, by these preemptions. And uh, well, you know what, Tom? so we told the station we, are we were glad not glad to have you back. I, well, I promised the minute the games came off, I would come back to Portland, and I'm keeping my promise. Right. Well, hey, let me tell the people there. You want a beer for me? I wish I could be there, but I'm working. And, uh, you know, Tom, good to hear you. Good to have you back in Poland and not preempted. Mike, thank you very Don't much. Miss Barracuda in Portland at 1 800 5 800. Tom, you guys having a good time? It only gets better, boys. It only gets better. All right, let's say hi here to George. John, the Tom Like His Show. Flash Friday, wide open telephone to the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Tom, it is a pleasure and honor to talk to you. Indeed, it is. Yes. Hey, I got a serious question. Yes. When are you going to run for a local political office? I could never win because I've got so many skeletons in my closet. Oh, come on. I Everybody think, does. In fact, no, no. I think some of them are here today, as a matter of fact. Why don't you girls stand up? <laughs> well, I can't see them, but knowing you, they got to be awfully nice skeletons. Uh, well, I'll but, tell you uh, what. But I have a lot of uh, things that, uh, you know, once my, uh, once my opponent uh, in a political race finds out all the stuff I've done. Of course, all you have to do is listen. Street, though. All you have to do is listen to my uh, show. You know, but, well, the, that's the, the, yeah, but you don't understand. I mean, I've been married and divorced four times. Four times. And that's wrong? There's something wrong with that? Come well, on. Uh, you know what I... I mean, look at, look, at, look at who your opponents are. I mean, their fingers are in everything. If well, you want to dig into closets for skeletons, that's a two-way street. Well, I mean, I... I, but I, I think you'd be surprised with the amount of support you get. I think it's reasonable uh, to be married, divorced four times. I mean, we upgrade cars every couple of years, right, when the lease is up? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. You get a newer model but, uh, and with a nice uh, smell of the uh, fresh leather seats and everything. I mean, uh, <laughs> you like to get some well, new leather seats once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Well, new leather is always nice. But uh, I think you would be really surprised with the support you'd get. Well, you know, an, you, know, you, know an, you know, another reason I will uh, not be uh, running for office? Because I make more money than the President of the United States. <laughs> All right, Why man. Why okay. would I want to take a goddamn pay cut? Yeah, well, you might have more fun. I don't know if you can put up with the, the politically I, correct... How can I have yet, more but... fun than I'm having in this room right now? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, you win, you win. Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot, Tom. I'm here thanks to help. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, this is Steve. I know, I just said yeah, that. I... Okay, okay. Hey, I'm driving down. I just got off work. I'm all outside with my headlights on. Coming from Seattle to Portland. I want to know where you're going to be tonight after the show. Uh, we haven't decided what we're doing after the show yet. So uh, you just have to look around. We're going to be out there somewhere. I got my headlights on. I'm on my way down. I will see you tonight. All right. Very good, Steve. Steve coming down from Seattle for this event, for God's sake. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Paul on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, I just found something out that makes me love your show even more. What's that? That's a beautiful, the hottest porn stars associated with your show, Tara Patrick. Oh, yeah. Tara Patrick has been one of the likeettes. Absolutely. I just found that out. That girl gets me. 
<laughs> now, you know, I turn on I, my TV I would, every I, morning. I would love for you to be able to say that on the air, but, uh, you know, that's not oh, going to get on that. today or tomorrow <laughs> or even next week. That's not getting on. Damn that Janet Jackson. I know. You know, I, I turn I, on my fact, DVD every morning and pull a wake and shake to her, and I'm golden for the day. You do a wake and shake with Tara Patrick every day? Is that what you do? Oh, yeah. When is she going to be on your show? Uh, I don't know. She's been on the show many times as one of the likeettes. Oh, man. Well, I'll be listening. I'll be I have, been, I have been. I want to tell you something, Paul. I've been in the dressing room with Tara Patrick, okay? Oh, this is my question. I completely forgot my question. What do you rate her? Tara Patrick? Yeah. Well, she's about as close to a 10 as you get. How about her toes? I, I haven't uh, checked out her toes. Check them out. Oh, really? You're, you're yeah. a freak. You're a freak. <laughs> See you later, Tom. See you uh, later, Portland. All right. Thanks a lot, Paul. Tom. Tom. Really? Tom like it. one 800 800 tom You know what's great about guys? Most of them, we have problems. You know what we do? We drink. <laughs> we watch ESPN. Yeah. Yeah, buck up. Buck up, exactly. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show from Portland at 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Are you guys boozing? You're cruising? You're carousing? Carousing? You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, here we are together again on the radio with a big Flash Friday crowd. Headlights on, man. Headlights on, ladies. If you see a guy with the headlights on, show him your rack. You know what to do. And uh, there is some decent rackage in this room. There is some decent rackage. And uh, who knows, as the evening progresses, what might happen here. You never know. Let's uh, continue with your calls at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Henry on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Tom, L.A. checking in, buddy. All right, Henry. Hey, Tom, I got a cool story for you, man. Last Friday, I got home, and my son saw me hiding my Flash Friday sign, and he took it out of my, my van, and he put it on his scooter. No. And he started driving around the neighborhood, and he came back all happy, telling me that he just got flashed, and my wife got so pissed off. <laughs> she got the sign, and she tore it up. And she said, I hate that Tom Likas guy. <laughs> I thought you'd enjoy that. Man. I love that when somebody's wife or mom hates the show because that's how we know we're doing it right. <laughs> All right, Tom. You by the way, by the way, by the way, wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. Henry, how old is your son? He's 12 years old. 12 years old. And, and you know what, Tom? He, he's been listening to you for three years already. Well, me and my son got to go in the backyard in the patio and listen to it because my wife won't let us listen to Tom Likas in the house. What are you, why don't you put your foot down and tell her, hey? Well, you know what it is? I got a young daughter, too, and, and, and I don't want her hearing the stuff. Oh, you know what her hearing about, though? I, you know what? She might benefit from knowing some of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she's only eight, but when she gets a little older, I'm going to definitely... Tune her into you, Tom. Absolutely. Because you are the man. Well, we're raising your son right, Henry. I'm proud. All right. Thanks for helping me raise him, Tom. I'm here to help, baby. Okay. You take care. Take care. Henry giving his son a Flash Friday side. He goes out on a scooter. From the Flash Friday side, he goes out and gets flashed. And his mom is pissed. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Lewis on the Tom Likas Show. Father, how are you? Okay, son, how are you? Oh, man. City of Whittier, California. 605 Freeway at yep. Whittier Boulevard. Uh-huh. Girl drives in front of my truck, looked at my light. Next thing you know, her friend just popped the bra off and said, let's go. No. The biggest, roundest pepperoni nipples I've ever seen. No. Oh, yeah, baby. Really? Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. How how old do you think she was? I, I don't know. She looked like she was in her early 30s. She was, she was an older woman. Wow. Wait. Look really at you. Really nice. Huge knockers, huh? Yeah? Oh, definitely. And I, I tried to get her to pull over, but she didn't want to. Unbelievable. Now, if you were listening to Kukui, would you get this guy to benefit for tuning in? 
Who was that? If you were listening to El Kukui, would you get this kind of benefit for tuning in? No. Oh, man. El Kukui wouldn't even touch you. <laughs> Hey, Tom, can you take me out Kobe stuff? Of course I can, Lewis. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. She's a beast in my heart. Oh. In the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. oh, I love her. It's so tasteless, even today. All right. We are at Barracuda in downtown Portland. You come down and see us, baby. All the women come in. You don't even need a ticket, for God's sake. Who knows how long this party will be going on. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.